Welcome to Op Manager Tech Videos. When we talk about monitoring the performance metrics of any critical devices in your network, you really don't need to look beyond Op Manager. After all, as you might have noticed, Op Manager is a comprehensive network monitoring system that constantly keeps a watchful eye on important device metrics like the temperature, disk utilization, CPU utilization, and memory utilization. But now let's imagine a scenario where you have a data center powered by several servers that need to be kept at an optimal temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The liquid cooling system in charge of maintaining this temperature suddenly fails due to a power outage caused by a lightning strike. Does this seem too outlandish? Well, this is exactly what happened to a reputable company's data center in Australia. The resulting shortage affected a bank and an airline. The bank customers faced difficulties with the bank's app and transactions, and the airline customers had troubles with bookings and checking in for flights. This incident impacted customers for more than 12 hours, even with the appropriate warnings in place, and it certainly would have been worse without them. This is precisely why performance monitors take priority, even more so than metrics like response time. It's for this very reason that Op Manager makes adding new performance monitors simple and convenient. Now, before we move on, let me take the time to inform you that Op Manager provides you with a list of more than 3,000 monitors to choose from. Op Manager also makes it easy for administrators to apply the required performance monitors to devices based on the types of those devices. That's where device templates play a role. Each device template has its own set of performance monitors. On the rare occasion you need to add a new monitor for a device that isn't on our list of 3000. You can do so with ease from the Performance Monitors page. Now, let's just see how simple adding a new performance monitor is. Click Settings. Under Monitoring, select Performance Monitors. Once you select Add Monitor, you can start adding a new monitor by providing the device name, the object identifier for the metric, the functional expression to determine the value for the metric, like megabyte to gigabyte, the vendor name, and the performance group. The performance group enables you to group a set of monitors for better visibility. You can choose from the existing groups or create a new group altogether. Click Query Device to create a preview of the monitor as a graph. Click Next to set details like the monitor name and monitoring interval. If you look below, you can choose to set up thresholds for the monitor as well. Finally, click on Add Monitor to add the new performance monitor to Op Manager. Now we've looked at how to add a single performance monitor. To add performance monitors in bulk, just select the Bulk SNMP tab. Now, using OIDs for performance monitors gives you a certain degree of flexibility when it comes to getting the information you want. Now let's say you want to receive details about the level of free space your device has. To do that, you can simply provide the OIDs for total device space and free device space and add the minus symbol between the two. To add performance monitors in bulk, select the vendor name and enter the SNMP OIDs and monitor names successively. In the same vein, provide details like the functional expressions, monitoring intervals and units of measurement. Next, choose whether to enable historical, tabular, and numeric data for the monitors. Set up the thresholds for these monitors successively, and enter the consecutive times you want each alarm to be triggered. Finally, set up these monitors by clicking OK. You can also add WMI performance monitors by selecting the WMI tab. All you have to do is provide the device name credentials, monitoring interval, and performance group. Click Next and select the WMI class to fetch the performance counters and instances. Click Save to add the new WMI performance monitor to Op Manager. Lastly, remember that Op Manager can also create CLI-based performance monitors for your Telnet and SSH devices. Once you've created the new performance monitors, you can associate them with devices in your network to ensure that you cover every single base when it comes to monitoring. Thanks for watching. To get updates on our latest features, please subscribe to our channel.